apparently when she was here once there was a phone call from the school to say that um, uh, one of you climbed up onto the school roof or something. It's probably me. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently she found it very amusing at the time. Oh, really? okay. Prince Harry today made a visit to Mile Day Hospital, a place his mother Diana, Princess of Wales, visited many times when he was a child. Harry met with staff and heard about how his mother had been involved with this dedicated HIV hospital and charity in East London. His visit marked the official opening of their new purpose-built facilities and he signed the visitor's book in the same place Diana once did. Mild May has been at the forefront of specialist HIV care since it became the first dedicated hospice for people dying of AIDS and related illnesses in 1988. One staff member explained what it meant for Harry to visit the hospital to carry on his mother's legacy. I think it's nice that he's shown an interest and I just hope he does carry on seeing it through because we still need people to, to know about HIV and AIDS. Harry has his own charity, Santa Ballet, that works to break down the barriers of understanding and knowledge of HIV and AIDS in Lesotho in southern Africa. He was shown how the hospital's work has changed significantly in the last two decades. Thanks to advances in medication, namely antiretroviral drugs, Maldmay's focus has moved from end-of-life care to rehabilitation. The hospital is now Europe's only centre dedicated to treatment, rehabilitation and medical care for people with complex HIV-related health conditions. We normally plant trees. <laughs> Staff said the visit would give a real lift to patients, but he seemed to have had a positive effect on them too.